Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be another tag that Amanda D tagged me into this one. This is the Halloween tag and all the questions are Halloween themed. I believe her and Jessica came up with the questions themselves. So I'm just going to go ahead and run through the questions. Something weird's going on with my hair. So I'll just run through the questions and then give my answers. This is fun because it gives you an idea of the kinds of things that I'm into and it gets you know, you get to know me a little bit better and I enjoy watching them because it means that I can get to know you a little bit better. So if you're going to do this as well, please do let me know in the dis in the uh, comments and I will go ahead and watch it, watch your video. So the first question, sorry if I look over here, it's because that's where the questions are. So the first question is, what is your favourite Halloween candy? And without a shadow of a doubt, I can say candied apples. I love candy apples. I will go around all of the supermarkets and buy all of their candy apple supply because here normally they're about 90p per apple so I can buy like all the apples that ever were and they will sit in my fridge and I will eat all of them sometimes maybe three or four or five a day I, I, it, candy apples are just oh they're so good I remember last year and this is funny because okay so last year my friend from work and uh, my other friend from work. It was I'd I'd been there for like a month or so, no, like like two weeks, and then Halloween was coming, and I'd only just moved to the area also, so I had no idea where to find candy apples, and I knew that Halloween was coming, and I made a big deal about I need to find candy apples, and I couldn't find any in the supermarkets anywhere, and I was saying about can't find any candy apples and. They said, oh, let's go find some on lunch. And I felt like really bad because I was like, no, you can't spend your lunchtime looking for candy apples for me. Anyway, they did, which was really, really nice. But she messaged me the other day and she was like, oh, just so you know, I noticed in the shop they have candy apples again. And I just thought that was really, really sweet that she would think of me and just like message me that. And then it reminded me of the scenario where we spent an entire lunch period looking for candy apples and it just that's so much I love candy apples anyway when was the last time you went trick-or-treating the last time I went trick-or-treating was probably when I was 11 or 12 De so definitely not recently 11 or 12 what are you dressing as this Halloween I'm not dressing up this Halloween Halloween's one of those weird holidays like I love Halloween I love Halloween. You can ask Andrew, he will tell you. I love Halloween. Halloween is like my favourite holiday. By far my favourite holiday. In the UK, that's not really the case for everyone else. So nobody really celebrates. We don't get very many trick-or-treaters, if any. Very rarely have a Halloween party. It's just not as big of a deal here as it is in the States. And that disappoints me because it's my favourite holiday. So I will bring a little bit of the states to my house. I can't do it here because there's rules on like stuff that I can do with the apartment because we're renting. But when I have my own house, I've already told Andrew, I will like, I will be that person that has all the Halloween decorations. And I will be that person that has the most Christmas lights on the block. Like that is what I'm going to do. So. Right now, uh, Halloween for me is one of those things that I have to internalize. It's more of a like children's thing in this country. Like the children will go around and trick or treat, but we don't get any trick or treaters because we live in an apartment block and my parents' house hasn't had trick or treaters for the last maybe five years. Um, I don't know why, maybe there's a shortage of children or maybe they just can't be bothered to climb the hill, I don't know. What is your favourite Halloween monster? My favourite Halloween character is Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. But if you want a baddie, then I would say Billy from Hocus Pocus. You know, the zombie person who has, like, um, I think it's Winifred's ex-boyfriend, but he also had a thing for Sarah and that's why she killed him and stitched his mouth together or something vague memories of that film. It's been a whole year since I saw it last. I need to crack it out. What's the scariest thing that has ever happened to you? The scariest thing that's ever happened to me, and this isn't like I want pity or anything, this is just how it was. And I've not talked about this to anyone in the makeup community, so let's talk about it now. I had Bell's palsy maybe about seven, eight years ago, um, and if you don't know what that is, basically it's a viral infection. That it's a viral infection, sorry, that causes nerval damage. I got this 
and it, it's just one of those things that it just happened it's not preventable it just occurs all that i know of it was i woke up one morning and i couldn't feel my face and i couldn't move and i couldn't talk and it was like i'd had a stroke and that was probably the scariest moment of my life but luckily it wasn't as serious as it first seemed so mostly it's all sorted so it's just one of those things that happens i still have a little bit of nerve damage that will never ever ever repair but nine times out of ten i forget it's there anyway so werewolves or zombies werewolves zombies or mummies mummies what is your favorite gory horror movie my favorite gory horror movie would probably be the purge which is the one where crime only happens once a year and all the houses go on lockdown or you go out into the street and start killing people and it's like you don't get in trouble for it have you ever spooked anyone on halloween no i hate practical jokes i th i think it's cruel and unnecessary things like when you go to the theme parks and things where they have the people who jump out at you and stuff I totally understand why they get punched and knocked down onto the ground. I just, it's, why would you do that to another human being? Like, it's causing them unnecessary aggravation and pain. Like, you don't know how you're going to hurt that person if you do the wrong kind of joke to them. So, no, I've never. The best Halloween party you have attended was done by one of my friends. She has no idea that I'm talking about her right now. She probably doesn't even watch my videos, but she had a halloween party with her girlfriend we all went around to her house and there was like they did they, they went all out like the decorations were incredible there was like a not a quiz but like a um treasure hunt type thing where you had to hunt for um all the spooky things like a quiz and you had to be like it was like how many so and so are in the house and you had to go around and count all the spiders and stuff and then there was like a costume competition and it was just amazing it was amazing it was the best halloween party i've ever been to and if she does eventually watch this video which i'm not going to tell her i do the youtube videos because we don't really talk so it's not going to be like but hi um yeah that was awkward and weird do you give candy to trick-or-treaters or do something else um if i had trick-or-treaters i would um when i have a house we will definitely have pumpkins outside and make it fully aware that people can come to our door for candy and I will definitely be that person who has a supply of gluten-free and nut-free candy also because I know what it's like to be excluded and I'm that kind of a person. Like, I would hate to see a child upset because they can't have the candy. So that, that would just break my heart. So I'm going to be that person who does all the nice things. Do you decorate the inside outside of your house with creepy decorations? Not right now. I have a wedding to pay for when I don't have a wedding to pay for and I have a little bit extra money that I can spend on decorations for the house. Um, I will do. The only holiday that I do decorate for is Christmas but Halloween decorations will be a thing that I acquire when we have our own house and when I have more money that can be spent on frivolous things rather than important things like getting married that's not to say that decorations might be important to you i'm not saying that i mean to me it's frivolous but to you it might be important and i respect that but yeah that's yeah um and that's all the questions so sorry to end it on that semi awkward note i hope you aren't judging me silently like i said in the intro if you're going to do this let me know so i can go and check out your video and thanks to Amanda for tagging me into it. It was fun, actually. It's nice to be able to talk about Halloween without being looked at like a weird person. Because that's the kind of attitude that people have to Halloween in this country. Um, it's just like, oh, it's just another day. It's a Tuesday. What do you want? Like, <laughs> that's seriously the attitude that we get. So it's nice to be able to let my Halloween bones go free. That wasn't, the pun was not intended. <laughs> One question that was on, wasn't on here, which I'm surprised at, is like, the, you know the typical ones of like what do you do for your halloween kind of a thing which i'm gonna tell you even though it wasn't a question so my halloween ritual is to order a huge pizza from the from probably pizza hut or domino's or something and it'll be full of cheese and full of pepperoni and yes it'll just be greasy goodness and i sit in front of the tv and i watch hocus pocus and then i watch nightmare before christmas and i eat my body weight in pizza 
And that is my Halloween ritual. And I enjoy doing that. Um, it's one of those things that even if I'm on my own, I will order a huge pizza and sit and watch Hocus Pocus like, like a loser sat in front of the TV on my own. So that is what I do. What do you guys do for Halloween? Let me know. Leave a comment. I'd love to know. Anyway, take care. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.